Today I show you the reason why you might see iPad locked to owner or iPhone locked to owner. When you get a new iPad, if you bought it used and you have this message, it's not good. It means the iPad is or iPhone is locked to owner. If you bought an iPad used and you get a message like this, it means that the iPad is locked to owner, means the iCloud lock. This is the iCloud lock. And you will have to enter the original username and password of the account that was used here. If you don't know who has this account, who has this iPad, then you will not be able to use the iPad. So this is the, the key part here. And to start setting up the iPad is the same as usual. You can do the setup as usual, except for one part where you have to enter the original username and password that were entered before. So if you have this iPad, if you have an iPad like this and you know the person who sold it or gave it to you, most of the time this happens when you give away an iPad and you forgot you forgot that it's uh, tied to your account and you can ask them to unlock it for you. Here I have to choose the region, so I'll choose I'll choose Cyprus here quickly. I have to choose the region. I chose Cyprus. Also make sure there is enough battery when you start this, but 61% I think it's okay. And some information about safety and handling. Continue and I could set the default. And you could use another device to set up the iPad. Yeah, I would like that. So well, my iPhone might start showing something. So as it's showing me now, set up new iPad using the Face ID. And now this is kind of a verification system where it shows those dots. And I have to place the camera in the dots and it starts the process. So now there is the iPhone. The iPhone is also communicating with the iPad. It's doing the settings. It's telling me, it tells me I need to continue on the iPhone and I said set up for me. Finish on iPad. I have to enter the passcode of the iPhone, not of the iPad. So it has to be the passcode of the iPhone. This is a safety measure. After I enter the passcode, it's they are working together now to transfer the information. Setting up the iPad. But I will show you that step where it needs the information. Okay, so it's connected. And even though I set up, it's the same account. It's the same account. I have to enter here the details again, but it is the same account. So this is this is the actual iCloud lock, iPad lock to owner. This iPad was lost and erased. Activation lock prevents anyone who is not the owner from using this iPad. To unlock this iPad, enter the Apple account and the password that were used during setup. I could enter the email or phone number and password. I could enter. The easiest way is to enter the email or phone number and the password of the original account, which is the same account that I used, or I could even unlock the password. So this is the iPad locked to owner. I could try to enter the passcode that was entered before. I could use the passcode. If this was reset in the wrong way, which I showed you before, it was a remote wipe from iCloud instead of a factory reset that's the way to do it you do a factory reset and you remove your account your uh, you remove your apple account you remove your icloud account from the ipad so i could unlock with the device passcode instead of the password i don't know what it says incorrect that's the passcode <laughs> yeah so this doesn't really work like that <laughs> Passcode didn't work, so I have to enter the email. I entered the email address and the password of my Apple account, and then I press next. And I hope it works because I tried once. Mm, the activation server is not available. Okay, let's try again. 
I hope it works because I just did this reset now. Okay, so that worked. If you get that, it's good that it showed so you can see. I got a bit of sweaty now because I don't know if I can make the iPad work if that thing doesn't work. So yeah, I could do an update, update later. This is the same as usual, but the, the difference here was that the iPad was locked to owner and I can set up Face ID also. Okay. So now this is me. Okay. And one more time. Okay, so Face ID is set up. Agree, you have to agree if you want to use it as usual. And this is going to take a while, but this iPad was remote wiped. This iPad was remote wiped from iCloud. It was with the iCloud lock. And now I did a synchronize setup from iPhone, so it's easier to set up. Some of the settings will stay, but there's not many things. And uh, when it's finished, you can restore a backup. So here I have all this option. I have the option where I want so I can continue to have all this all this information will be restored. I will choose to download automatically, not to update. And now on my iPhone it says it's done. Enjoy your iPad. And it tells me I get a notification that a device was added to my Apple account. I don't want to add cards now, so I'll add it later. And really now, don't share. Um, okay, Apple Intelligence Summary. I could do this. I like priority notifications. And this is a setup from an iCloud lock. So the iPad was locked and now it's unlocked. So I did the unlock. You will do this by using the password of the account that locked it. So I could set up later Siri and now it's doing a restore from iCloud of all the options that were backed up. So if there are some settings that I might want to use, this is really useful. So if you do a remote wipe or if the, the iPad is reset or the device is damaged, you can restore from iCloud and the iPad will be like the same iPad. I got so many notifications about this iPad now from Gmail and it's good to have the notifications so you know it's taking some time though this thing the iPad is going to finish the setup and it's going to restart and once it's restarted it's going to be ready to use the iPad restarted and I did the Face ID and it worked. Uh, it's going to restore the apps I had installed before. It's installing all the apps, even DaVinci Resolve. Everything, they will be installed. So that's really nice. I have this option to reset the iPad and it's going to be ready to use. Let's see if it's connected to the Wi-Fi automatically. So... Yeah, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, to the faster Wi-Fi. Yeah, everything is done and I show you here, I want to show you on general about. This is the information about this iPad and this is the model number A3360 iPad Pro 13 inch M5. And this works on most iPads the same way. The idea here is that you have to enter your username and password of the original Apple account before that was there before this iPad was remote erased it was erased through iCloud and now it's back it's restoring all this information all these apps 
The apps are being downloaded now, so this is going to take a while until they're available. But if you don't want to have all this, you can set the iPad up as a new device without any of the apps, if you, especially if you have too many apps and you want to restore them. But this is how this iPad went from being erased through iCloud, remote locked and locked to owner to usable, being usable. So now I can open things. I can open the notes up, everything, all the notes are here. It's everything is stored through iCloud, even the remote desktop app. Even the settings I had here, everything was there. I can connect to the computer directly after the restore. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.